So you failed your cybersecurity certification exam. I'm sorry. That stinks and we have all been there. In this video, we're gonna talk about what to do when you fail a cybersecurity certification exam and where you go from here. Make sure that after this video, you keep watching the rest of the series on how to pass cybersecurity certifications. But first, if this is the first time that we're meeting, welcome to my channel. My name is John Good, and here I get to spread my passion for cybersecurity training, tips and tricks, and career advice to help you go further. Remember to smash the thumbs up to like this video, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss future content, and make sure to leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. Check out my website at johngood.com for more training without advertisements if you want resume reviews, career advice, and consulting services. Also, if you're trying to break into cybersecurity, check out my Getting Started page for free resources and a copy of my ebook on cybersecurity careers. All right, let's get into the video. One of the most frustrating things that can happen in cybersecurity is failing a certification exam. Think about it. We spend potentially months or even longer studying for a certification and potentially a chunk of money only to come up short once we get to the finish line. So what are we supposed to do when we fail? Where do we go from here? The very first thing that we need to do is take a few deep breaths and relax. We aren't going to achieve everything we set out to do, and especially not in the first attempt. If you haven't already, go do something relaxing or get a good meal because you still have put a lot of work into preparing for the exam and you wanna relax after a stressful situation. You might even need a few days of doing nothing related to certifications to recharge your batteries, and that's okay. Take it and enjoy it. Okay, now that you've recharged, the second thing that we need to do is decide if that certification is still worth the extra effort. Sometimes we attempt certifications that are nice to have, but they might not be worth the continued effort. It's okay if we decide to ditch a certification or even put it up on the shelf to come back later if we still want it. Typically, we don't wanna waste a bunch of time studying in the first place if we can avoid it, but we need to make the decision right now to either continue or to pivot. If we pivot, then we need to start back at the beginning of this series on passing cybersecurity certifications. Once we've decided that the certification is still worth it, the third thing that we need to do is look at the exam results. So typically what's gonna happen is you'll get a printout with the different domains and how you scored in each domain based on a percentage. Do you see any trends in the domains that you are weak in? Are they all technical? Are they non-technical? By identifying our weak areas, we can start to address the knowledge gaps that help us get better. Fourth, we need to look back at the materials that we used and see how well we used each material. Did we actually read through the sections we scored weak on or were we just overconfident and we're like, eh, and breezed through them? Did our practice exams identify the same issue areas? It's easy to overlook this stuff when we haven't taken the exam yet, but now we actually have a score that shows how well we know the material. This can be a good time to add additional resources that we didn't use the first time, especially for our weak areas. Remember that some instructors are gonna actually focus on certain things more than others. Last, I want you to go ahead and book the certification exam again. When you book the exam really depends on how close you were to passing and how confident you feel. For example, if you're like two or three questions away from passing, there is no reason for you to take more than a week or two if the vendor allows it. If you scored a 50% on the exam, well, you're a little bit further away and you should take more time to prepare. The strategies throughout this series on passing cybersecurity certifications are still what you should use in passing for your second attempt. And hopefully with these slight adjustments after this video, you should come out successful on the exam. Question of the day, have you ever failed a certification exam? How did you respond? And how did you prepare for that next attempt? Let me know down in the comment section below. In this video, we talked about what to do when you fail a cybersecurity certification exam and where to go from here. Remember, most people will fail an exam at some point in their career, but as long as you're willing to continue learning by putting in the time, you're gonna be successful. Make sure that you watch the rest of this series on how to pass cybersecurity certifications if you haven't already. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my website at johngood.com for more training without advertisements. If you want resume reviews, career advice, or consulting services, and I'll see you next time.